Clay Thompson, who is expected to miss a large part of next season with an ACL injury, gets a 100% prediction from our experts to return to the Warriors. Agree or disagree? Agree. Deal's already done. Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, before the clock strikes 6.01, there will be executives at the door of Clay Thompson offering him uh, the Phil five-year max at $191 million, especially since the All-NBA, he was robbed of an All-NBA team selection, which would have given him 221. That breath a sigh of relief to Golden State Warriors' ownership because that's $30 million they didn't have to give him. They're going to give him every penny of this $191 million. Not bad. And I would just like to add that his father, Michael Thompson, can be seen on Max on Boxing on ESPN2 sometimes. Oh, look at that. Yes, we'll be that's right. Father knows you know best what? is the name of the show. He knows his boxing. He knows his boxing. Oh, Michael Thompson? Oh, yes. I heard oh. him call into the Steve Oh, from way back. Yeah, yeah. I heard he him call his boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, agree, Clay stays in Golden State. And by the way, this is the reboot. It's the Splash Brothers from here forward. The real question for Golden State is, what is Draymond Green's future? Perhaps sooner than we all think. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Kawhi Leonard now. He just led Toronto to the NBA title while winning the finals MVP award. 67% of our experts say he is staying in the North, while 33% of the panel say he's headed to the Clippers. Agree or disagree? Kawhi is sticking with Toronto. I have no idea. I'm just going to guess, and I'm going to say the Clippers. Even though Masai has elected to stay, and that's given indications that Kawhi is going to stay, there's no upside. He's already done all he can do in Toronto. L.A.'s his hometown, family and friends are there in L.A., and he could actually make the Clippers relevant in the same town, in the same arena as LeBron is battling with him for the Lakers. I like that situation better. I don't know, but I would guess the Clippers. Fun story there. When Masai Ujiri you know, said he's staying in Toronto, I thought, oh, that indicates that he and Kawhi have spoken and Kawhi is staying. And maybe that's the case. I'm going to say the Clippers. Because I think here's Kawhi's chance in his prime to go back home and to do something truly special. Not only at least maybe briefly flip the town or make the Clippers relevant, but I believe given the state of the NBA next season, the Clippers will win the championship if he goes to L.A. As Stephen A. said, he already did it, won and done, and Toronto won a championship. And he can become the first man in history to win a finals MVP with three different franchises still in his prime in his hometown. I'm hoping that's what he does, in fact, and I think my gut tells me it's going to happen. I disagree with both of you. I think he stays in Toronto, and Stephen A., the reason you asked for the reason to stay, it's all the good old homespun cliches. It's that the grass is not always greener, that a bird in the hand is worth more than two in the bush. He stays in Toronto, and he's got a better chance at winning a title than if he goes to L.A. If he goes to L.A., he gets Max Kellerman's prediction. If he stays in Toronto, he's a true favorite to repeat as NBA champion. I like your cliches. Celtics point guard Kyrie Irving expected to opt out of the final year of his deal in Boston. And 97% of our experts believe he is going to the Brooklyn Nets. Agree or disagree? Agree. Yeah, agree. I think that um, he's going to the Nets. It will be interesting to see if the Knicks can make any kind of last-second push for Kyrie, but I think he's going to the Nets. Agreed, it's Brooklyn. Kyrie have been around a bunch of young guys, scrappy, overachievers, been in the playoffs. Haven't they? Is that a familiar story? Did I, have I heard that story from some? I read that book. I don't know what you're talking right? about. Right? That book. Did I see that movie? I don't know. All right. Unanimous decision there. 53% of our experts believe the Hornets all-star point guard Kemba Walker will return to Charlotte. The Celtics, Knicks, and Lakers also received some votes. Agree or disagree, Kemba is staying in Charlotte. I don't think he's staying unless uh, Michael Jordan offers him close to the max. Uh, he's willing to stay, but... Michael Jordan is not going to trigger that luxury tax. That's his big pet peeve. I've missed the playoffs. They've missed the playoffs without, you know, they missed the playoffs with him on the squad. Why lose money and miss the playoffs too? So I think that's the mentality, unfortunately, and I think if that's the case, it's a good chance Kemba might elect to go to Boston. I agree. I think he's going to be in Boston, so I disagree with him staying in Charlotte. And I think MJ's actually right in this case, though he's been a bad owner. The fact, or whatever they're calling the NBA uh, 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 franchise owners nowadays. Governors. Governors, right. Though he's been a bad one. Um, look, if Kemba was a set with three, four years younger, and they had an amazing draft pick, keep him, give him the max, and build something. But to pay a guy a super max just to keep spinning your wheels and not even probably making the playoffs... I kind of agree with MJ, a small guy who can't defend because of his size on a Supermax for the next five years. I'd let him walk, and this I think he'll I, I've never felt ever in my career here at ESPN that I could use a hug from Max and Will. 
But when I think about the fact that I was fantasizing about Kyrie and KD, or KD and Kemba, and now the Knicks are going to have nothing. No, they have Boogie Cousins Start on a one. Right in out. You'll get your it's home. so oh, Knicks. My Lord. I it's just, so I, Knicks. I, I just feel... I just feel so depressed right now. We'll go to I therapy really, really after do. the show's over. I, really I disagree do. that Kim is going to stay with the Hornets. Woj is suggesting this morning, by the way, that Michael Jordan will not max Kimba out. But before you put him on the Boston Celtics roster, I do think the Dallas Mavericks will have something to say about it. If he does end up with the Boston Celtics, I think you want Boston, him on the Mavs? I want somebody on the Mavs. But do you want with. Kemba at his age, at his size, Rick given Carlisle, what you have? Rick Carlisle seems to want a ball-handling point guard next to Luka Doncic. Mm -hmm. He likes that formula. I trust in Rick Carlisle. And I also trust the Celtics with Kemba are better than the Celtics with Kyrie. All right. Well, Sixers fans I'd live in Dallas before will I be happy Boston. with this prediction. 47% of our experts believe the 76ers duo of Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris will return to Philly. Agree or disagree that both Jimmy Buckets and Harris are in a Sixers uniform next season? Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris? Mm -hmm. I think one of them will be. I'm going to assume it's going to be Jimmy Butler. I don't know about Tobias Harris. And by the way, piggybacking off of the Kemper Walker deal, the Charlotte Hornets offered him more money. He wants to leave. He is leaving. Um... I think Tob I don't know where Tobias Harris lands. I don't think he's a max contract player. He's a very nice shooter. Um, he he is looks like he should be able to defend all positions. It doesn't look like he can defend any, but he can shoot and score the ball. And I, I have no idea where he's going. That's something to underline. Is that the first time you said that today, or did I miss yes, it earlier in the that's show? That's the first time. That's the first time I said that today. So we speculated. But Charlotte I just, Hornets have that. offered him more money than he can get out there somewhere else. Maybe not the full max, right, but right. he doesn't want it. He doesn't. He want wants it. to leave. He wants to leave. I think Jimmy Butler is going to stay with the 76ers, and it makes absolutely no sense to go to Houston. Why would you pick CP3 and James Harden over Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons? It makes no sense. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.